Yo, what's up? Today's daily video is uh, surveillance. What I think about surveillance. Uh, we are seeing the beginnings of surveillance, like, you know, video cameras on every street corner. If you go to Google Earth and you look over there on the left side, all the little features, there's one called Street View, and I think it's a new one that they just put. And, uh, and everywhere in America, uh, like every 30 feet on every street, um, there is a, a little camera icon that you can click and it takes you down into this bubble. And then you can do a 360 degree view from the middle of the street and look at the front yard of your house. Um, and uh, it's, it's just crazy. Um, and so, yeah, some people are going to be freaked out by that. Like, oh, I want my privacy. I don't want anybody to know what my house looks like. Um, but I think it's just the beginning of that. Um, I don't think it's going to happen without people willing for it to happen. Uh, people m are probably going to uh, resist it and it won't be allowed to uh, advance. But I think it will advance eventually to having every, having a, and maybe it'll advance even against people's, you know, the masses uh, consent, but um, I think you know, we're going to a day and age where we're going to have uh, video cameras on every corner. And a lot of places do have video cameras on every corner. Like if you go to, I know University Bicycles in Boulder has a, uni has a camera that's 24 seven that you can click. So I think, uh, yeah, you'll be able to just click any, any uh, street corner and then uh, see see a real live what's going down there and then it'll all be recorded because our gigabyte power is getting so strong and it's going to be strong strong enough to do that um but i like that a lot of people are going to be freaked out by the whole privacy thing but i mean if you are why give me one reason why unless you're a criminal because that's what it that's what it it fights against is criminal like people can't steal bikes anymore somebody steals your bike you just go and you to the cops and they go and they look at the uh, at that time your bike was stolen. They'll get a, a photo of the person stealing it. And even if the person has a mask on, you can just follow them riding your bike back home. You know, they went over this way out of this the view of this camera. So then they turn on the next camera where they went to and they follow them and they can trace them all the way back to their house. So it'll take um, it'll take crime away. Some people might think, oh, but it'll give the government the power to completely control everybody, like that movie V for Vendetta. Um, and people are against I, uh, RFID tags for that too, but our, I made a video before about RFID tags where I like RFID tags because it'll make everything cheaper. Um, our GDP will improve, our, li our quality of life will improve if our time, if our lives are more efficient um, if we all had a, a uh, if I had a uh, RFID tag in me I wouldn't have to wait in line at the uh, um, at the airport I could just walk right through um, that kind of thing I wouldn't have to worry about getting my wallet stolen or anything like that and I believe that the government in America uh, I don't think this whole surveillance thing and RFID tags it would be good for like a third world country because the government's over there. I wouldn't trust them. But in America, I, th I think the government here, I think we're ready for it. I think the government here is good enough for that. Uh, I, th I believe the people in the government in this country, the people in power are generally good people. Um, or they're at least good enough to, to not abuse that kind of a power. Um, I mean, the people, the kind of fascination, the kind of imaginations people have about the negative consequences of uh, surveillance is just uh, unrealistic. Uh, we're not going to go back to that whole Nazi, fascist, Gestapo shit. We, we, are, we are evolving out of that. Um, so I really, really like um, surveillance. Um, I can't wait for the day where there's, where, where there's no crime. You don't have to worry about crime anymore because of that because of surveillance because nobody could would be able to get away with it and then after that you know people who are disenfranchised poor people who think they're not they're getting the short end of the stick from the rich people can turn to other means more peaceful means to uh 
make their point known, you know? Like, uh, there's all, you know, start showing up at the voting poll. Less than half of the people in America even vote, so you can't blame the government if you don't even vote for them. Um, sign petitions. You can make your own petition on petition site, make YouTube videos. Um, people are getting more and more uh, open to sharing. Uh, pe- more and more people are opening up YouTube accounts, making YouTube videos. I envision a day where there's so much surveillance that there'll be a, a, a plugged in <laughs> uh, video camera in every single room in America. So you can, you can, you can be like, you can do a YouTube video and hear somebody talk about something and, or, or somebody uh, working out or something and, you, and then you go, oh wow, where do you live? Or maybe it's even written right there where they live. So then you can type in their address room number three they live in room number three and then boom you can see what they're doing at that moment (laughs) oh look he's working out again i knew he would be doing that (laughs) um of course they could turn the camera off if they wanted to but i think uh i think people like attention um me i'm kind of neutral about it but i do believe i want to play my part in um in um expanding um, people's habits of sharing what they know, how they live their lives. The more we share, the more uh, creative we'll be, the more motivated we'll be to do what we want to do because we'll know we'll, we'll, we will have examples for every single kind of lifestyle. And, uh, and then if we talk and share our ideas, then we're all, we're all going to eventually you know, talk about, argue about stuff and figure out what the truth is by, via that. So it all goes down to uh, surveillance. It starts there. It starts by people not being afraid of other people. So my question is, why would you be feel like your privacy is being invaded by, say, Street View or by um, video cameras on every corner? Um, I would like to hear a reason for that. Because at the end of the day, I don't think there is a reason that makes sense. It's just paranoia. Um, I upload videos on YouTube all the time. Yeah, and I get people who are pissed off at me all the time. But uh, I love it because they give. Sometimes they give you reasons for it, and then you can, you can argue that, and then it expands your mind because it. You have to think of new reasons, and. Um, and then it fortifies what your beliefs are and all that. So uh, the whole. Um, uh, surveillance thing is just a whole is just another step and uh, plugging in the world making the world like one living brain us humans can be like a human species can be like one living brain with each individual as a different cell brain cell um, if we all hooked up to the uh, internet the world I think the the brain has like the same amount of brain cells as individuals in the world so it would be like um, having a, a, a coherent thinking brain, like one, one world, literally one, one species. So, uh, so I would say if you're, if you're like that and you're freaked out about surveillance, don't be, if you're a criminal, <laughs> maybe you should get a job. <laughs> um, because we're just at the beginning. They're going to install those. I think they've already installed in street cameras in England and stuff. And I think it's good. I like it.